Oh, wow. Today is Wild and Wicked Wednesday. It started out, everything was cool and smooth and easy riding, and I had me a, a lady headed here to the studio. Emergency, emergency, emergency. She had to cancel so you at about 10.25, so guess what I did? Ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> Not to call him a ding dong. <laughs> Rather than being called stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Better than what I usually get called. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, uh, we ha we've had some giggles this morning because thank gosh you were available to do what you're doing. She just said, and and honestly, I'll just throw this out here at y'all. She's been doing evangelist preaching and traveling and traveling and traveling ever since we booked her. My nerves have been shot because I'm like she's been around large groups of people. So what did I think? She might have had a germ or two because if you're in church groups, we are finding that COVID is traveling fast through revivals. She's been in a lot of revivals, so I don't know what the emergency was, but I know my nerves have calmed down now because somebody's been sitting right over here with a guitar and you've just been a picking and a grinning. And I'd like to also add that uh, I had curveballs thrown at me all morning long. Wasn't even planning on being here. Wasn't sure wasn't planning on playing guitar, but I had to pull, what was it, two, three songs out of the hat? Yeah, 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 you did. And thank you very much for doing that. Got it done, though. Yeah, but this is when he calls me stupid, when he says, you know, you dial this number when, and you dial that number when, and I'm going, I have a hard time remembering one phone number, so you give me multiples, and I'm like, okay, whatever. But thank you for coming to my crisis mode, because I was... What am I going to do? So it was going to be Wild and Wicked Wednesday. Yeah. Well, but you've, instead, had, you've had worse guests, but you just probably don't remember when no. it was. And, and let, me, let <laughs> me just say that about you. Everybody loves the days that you are here. So I have officially turned over my title today. <laughs> the Sherry Show is now today the Mr. LJ Show. Welcome, folks, to Mr. LJ. That's right. And I'm just going to sit here, and I'm going to let you run the place, and I'm just going to, I need a nap. I don't yeah. want to take a nap, though. I'd rather listen to your music. Yeah. But I'm very thankful to our viewers who do love, they, they honor the fact that you are here amazingly playing on this guitar, but then they love the songs that you've written about their hometowns. That's pretty cool. Well, let me say this. Thank you, folks, for watching. Really, sincerely, I thank you for watching. Thank you for the nice statements and comments, and thank ETC for having us. Yep, it is fun. We, we do have fun, and honestly, when I get in a panic, you seem to come through. I don't know if you're just sitting there with a the guitar in hand waiting for me to call, but you I was came in bed. through. <laughs> I'm like, ah! I was in bed looking out my bedroom window <laughs> studying. Yeah, and ding dong. <laughs> yeah. Ding dong. But thank you again. Um, it's going to be a fun day. Today is August the 3rd, and I have to, you know, Don gave me this little book, and this one says, Do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we drink? Or, What shall we wear? But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all the things shall be added to you. So when I got the call, I was like, uh, 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 And then all of a sudden, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, and appears. So thank you very much. Now today, we had already said the next time you came on, we were going to talk old stuff because we are old souls. We like old stuff. We both agree that the old ways were often the better ways. That's to hear me tell it, yeah. That's to hear you tell it. Mm -hmm. And you brought something that this is not, I'm not crazy about honey. Lord, my mama was. Oh yeah, I love it with calm. And, and this is the clearest, prettiest honey. Now tell me about, how do we know where these bees came from? Are these local bees? They are local. We cannot talk about where it came from, but okay. it's, uh, it's, it's local. It's not stolen. It's oh, we not didn't stolen. didn't steal this batch. <laughs> no, 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 no. And uh, the, uh, it's just mountain honey right here in these very mountains I sing about. Yeah. Yep. And I can't wait to taste it. I actually had a little bit of this because you gave me a jar a couple of months ago. Yeah. And I've been snacking on that. And I had a little bit of that last night when I took my meds. And it's really, really, it's smooth. It's really, really smooth. So I like that. 
Yeah, Thank you very stuff. much. Thank you very much. Now, I brought something because I keep talking about God's bounty. And I made pear relish, and I love pear relish with soup beans. I love pear relish with green beans. I love pear relish <coughs> over cornbread. I love pear relish. Did y'all figure that out? I love it, too. So, love it. since I gave you that honey and all. You get the pear relish. Yeah, okay. Yes, you get check. the pear relish. Just yeah, going to check on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I will be making more pear relish this year, but let me tell y'all about the pear crop. Last year, there was none. I don't know what happened, but the crop wasn't good at all. This year, it's going to be so bountiful. So get out and find yourself a pear tree. If you don't have a recipe for this, I posted mine on Facebook so people can get my recipe. Very simple, very easy. Peppers, onions, vinegar, sugar, a little bit of spices. Cook it up. And there yeah, you go. Yeah, I love there you cool go. winter evenings. And yes. Pinto beans and some of that stuff right there with some corn. I'll tell you one thing I've learned about you, big boy. Mm. You don't like the heat. No, it's, I mean, I'm <laughs> proud to be like here and I'm thankful for dog days. I'm real <laughs> glad I'm here to see them. Yeah. But it's not my favorite time of year. No. It's not. No, no. And they don't call it dog days for no reason. No. How many yards did you mow yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Three, four. Uh-huh, yeah. And uh, it's tough. Even the grass is weird during dog days. I yeah. promise you, dog days is a thing, okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How wet was sweat were you when you got through? Yeah, yeah. 50 wet. Drowned. Not even sure it was wet. Uh, sweat, it was probably that humidity from the dog days. <laughs> Crazy. My little neighbors, they're young, and uh, they were out there while I was mowing and hanging out and stuff, and I was telling them, you know, it, it didn't rain a drop all day, but the grass was soaking wet. Wow. You know why? I asked him Humanity. that question. He goes, no, he's a little bitty guy. Yeah. And I said, it's dog days. Yeah. And he did not understand that, did mm -hmm. he? Uh-uh. I don't uh -uh. guess. No. <clears throat> now, I asked you about this, and you didn't know, but this is probably one of the rarest antiques I own. And about... A blender? No, it's a churn. This is a butter churn. It's a butter churn? It's a butter churn. But I it's, thought they went to It's change. the smallest one I own. They make this in about six sizes, and I paid more for this tiny one than I paid for my big one. Does that yeah. make sense to you? No. It's uh, because it's rare. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's nice. I like it. It's cool. It's cool. I used to churn butter when I was little. I'd sit down and, now you just keep doing that until I tell you to quit. <laughs> and you're going, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And I got tickled because somebody saw that I had this on the air the other day, and they said, are you going to be selling blackberry preserves? No, it's too hard to make these suckers. We ain't getting shed of none. No, we ain't getting shed of none. And, and I might say it's going to be canning time real soon because we're going to finish the canning. But, you know, there's something about a blackberry. It's hard to get. It's hard to protect while you're getting it because the birds will eat them. So you know the time yeah. to pick them. I know. And you have picked and picked and picked and picked. You know birds don't like blackberries? What? No, What's no, wrong with birds? Like I know. The, what they do like is those seeds. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I made that up. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And today is blooper day, y'all. Today is going to be a fun day because you did some music. Blooper. I just said when yeah. I... When I call and said, can you be here in four seconds? Yeah, Ready okay. Ready for some bloopers? Yeah. So we got some bloopers going on. We Before we go any further. We're going to have some fun. I have a surprise. You do? Yes, for you. What is it? Hold on. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, no. Uh-huh. What is it? Our friend and... <gasps> oh, precious. And our... Uh, precious. Dedicated viewer. Precious, precious. Said to give you this, and I went that? by and got it. Gail D. Four. Gail, thank you so much. This is. She's married to my hero, Wilburn D. Four. He's got you 57 Ford. Now that fella does. Do you know what happened to him? Mail, what, Mail Street? Mail Street. He committed no, suicide he on his oh. birthday. Oh, no. He did. Oh. He did, but he recorded my buddy, Earl Thomas Conley's amazing, fabulous song. Y'all asked why if he knows that song. Do you know that song yet? What what song is it? Uh, Smoky Mountain Memories. Smoky Mountain Memories. Let's yeah. see. Let's Let me see. check my cell phone here. <laughs> Smoky Mountain Memory. No, I don't know that one. <laughs> Mel Street recorded it. He sold more than Earl Thomas Conley did, but then Earl Thomas Conley brought it to number one. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's a great song. So thank you, Miss Gail. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank precious. you for watching. Thank you for watching, and thank you for loving us because she is such a good heart. That is so cool. I'm so proud of that. So it goes front and center. You know, I put stuff that's important front and center. The honey's important front and center. Number one, because that's a one-time gathering. He gets it once a year. Is that right? Maybe twice. Okay. This year, he said maybe. And you're the proud mother of lots of this. So it's going to so, yeah. keep you healthy. Yeah, we got to talk. <laughs> we got to talk. Yeah. We got to figure out yeah. some recipes to make yeah. honey. Guess what? We're going to be doing Heart of the Home again. I'm excited. And yeah. you're going to be sitting there with a the guitar in the sunset. And it's going to be perfect setting, oh, perfect timing. Oh, there at that place timing. in Cherokee County? Yes. Yeah. At the farm. Nice yeah. people. What were their names again? Steve and um, Heather Turner. Just yeah. love them. Love them. That's going to be so Good much fun. Folks. Do they have ETC over there? They do not, but they get to watch on YouTube. And oh, they, yeah. do, okay. yeah. they do have the most amazing kitchen in the world. <laughs> what was cool is when I was there playing the guitar and I looked over to that big old burly guy and there was one running right down yeah. through here. Yeah, yeah. That was really, really cool. Then you know you did a good job. You know you did a good job. That was <laughs> that was so precious. And, and we were hauling furniture, been over looking at property, and it was just really weird how it all came together. And then uh, it was just like buddy time because guns and guitars, two things that guys like to hang We'd with. We had talked like five minutes, and I felt like I'd known him 20 years. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that fella. Really cool. Really Steve. Cool. Steve Turner. Turner, yeah. Steve Turner. He's great with music and he's great with songs and he's great with writing lyrics, but he does not remember names. And that's no. something we have in common because if I meet you and you say, hey, Sherry, we watch every day. And I go, oh, Lord, please don't tell me your name because I'll never remember it. <laughs> what is that? A guitar pick. Is that, where's the other one? Somewhere There else. were two of these I, I here. Over here I was, stole it when I was. Yeah, I was playing with them for a while. When we were doing those <laughs> bloopers. We were. Yeah. We're going to share just the best of the best today. Some okay. good stuff, some bad stuff, some fun stuff. We have been experimenting with sound, and we find that the iPad does a really, really good job with sound. It does. And you love to pick a guitar, and it's like when you picked up Steve's guitar, it was a 60s Gibson. I think it was a 64. Uh, I think Didn't he say it was 64? I believe it was a 64. I think so. Nice little guitar. Enjoyed that. And it needs strings. So maybe for Christmas, we could get you to put strings on that guitar. I've put one or two on. If we could try it. That would be good. See how it goes. That would be good. One or two million, that is. <laughs> oh, that would be good. That yeah. would be good. So I've given you two days to solve a problem, and I don't see the answer to the problem. Who is the new proprietor of the Rebel Inn? I have been on to that, and, and uh, I had some fun, but I didn't get things done. <laughs> no, I couldn't get one guy on the phone that I need to get on the phone. He would know, but I just didn't have much luck. But I am on it, folks. <clears throat> and we I do will, want to I'll know. get it done, yeah. Yeah, we want to know because it has progressed to a point in just about eight days they're making some progress yeah, no. inside and outside. I need to talk to Mr. B. That's right. To That's find right. out how that is going down down there. He knows stuff. He's real smart. Mm -hmm. Mr. B is my friend, and he's the nicest gentleman you'll ever meet. Right. Mr. B. Been there a long, Hello, long B. time. Long time. Long Mr. Time. B fixes stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots yeah. of stuff. Let's talk about. He's going to crack. <laughs> let's talk about fixing the traffic on 515. How do you fix the traffic on 515? You go down to 05. Simple. Yeah. It's so simple. I didn't even have to think about it. You come down 05. You go down, I always go 05. And you see something different every time. Back when I rode my uh, Electroglide, 05. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go slow. Shady, cool in the evenings. Mm -hmm. Out into the cool of the evening. Stroll the Pretender. All right, speaking <laughs> of songs, have you finished the song you started last week that you wrote in about 20 minutes? Sure, yeah, it's done. Yeah, yeah. done, done, yeah. over with, done. Mm -hmm. So, so what's I'm the I'm waiting next? on that production company to get with me and, and I want to know exactly what feel they want to it. Yep. And what style of music they want it to be. I actually wrote it for someone else, uh, a major company somewhere up north of here. Mm hmm and uh, it's going to be the, the soundtrack for their... Uh, Commercials? Commercial video, yeah. It's going to be like a long... What do you call that? A 
videography? Yeah, but it's not a it's not a, not an infomercial, but it's sort of like one. Mm -hmm. yeah, a little is. bit, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's gonna be cool. And it's gonna show mountains, and you get to hear me sing. Yep, yeah. And let me tell you how Please else don't you get can... too excited. <laughs> let me tell you how else you can hear him sing. You can pick up one of his CDs, and we hope that if you don't have one, you will pick up one. Addictive. Okay, I I had certain ones I liked, so you put them on one. The fan favorite is going to happen by the end of fall. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. I have all these CDs in my console. I've got Elvis Presley in my console. i got Charlie Pride. i got Merle Haggard. i got all these things. But then I've got this stuff of yours that I like. I like certain things. Everybody does. Yeah, we, yeah. Get in a, <coughs> we get in that nod habit that we just want to hear those songs. I have seven CDs that I have done, and we're going to pull... What we're going to call it fan favorite, fan favorites, like you said, S uh, certain songs from those CD and compile them on one CD, and then everybody will just be really happy and smiling. Yes, and smile as they drive Old yes. Five to the mountains. Now, what if the neighbors on Old Five don't like us telling about Old Five? Are we going to get in trouble for telling people to get off Five Fifteen? Probably, but uh, they know how I am. Yeah, yeah. And so they'll go along with it. And they've seen me going up and down there. I yeah. actually had, and i got to give a shout out, my producer and director from Atlanta, who everybody knew Fred and loved him, passed away in December. He came years and years ago, old Highway 5. He started in Woodstock, and he came with a camera, and he filmed all the way up for me on a Saturday morning. Because I told him, I said, Fred, when I left Atlanta, the only way to get to Blue Ridge was old Highway 5. Yeah. And he filmed it, and he loved cameras, he loved technology, and he had a blast doing that. And I actually have that footage, so it's really, really cool. And such a special memory for me, because he, you know, he reached out and did that for me. What year was that, maybe? Probably 14, 15, 15 years ago. Oh, so, as the song says, folks, so much has changed since then. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, and yes. as John Lennon said, forever not for better. <laughs> That's exactly right. Okay, we're going to go now to something that you just sat down over here this morning and you just play practice. You mean you're actually going to play that? I am. I am. You're going to air it? I am. I is am. it that little song about teaching the world to sing? It is. Okay, well, I have something to say about that. All right, say it. It's dedicated to the memory of my friend Shirley Dotson. She was such a lady. I used to sing that for her at her house when I was just a little bitty boy. Okay. I was 14, <laughs> and I'd, she'd, if I sung it one time, I sung it a million, and she'd sit there with her undivided attention and listen to me sing that over and over. She loved that little song, and so do I, and we loved her. So there you go. So now we're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to share a little bit of, I'm going to call today the best of Mr. Ella J, because it's when he just fools around, and that's when he seems to be the best, because he's funny, he's crazy. He, he is, um, his heart is definitely in these mountains. And if you haven't heard the song, Welcome to Ella J, I'm going to challenge you, go to YouTube and just type it in and listen. You will listen over and over and over. Here we go. We'll be back in just a minute. Get cool. Yeah. We're filming bloopers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're drawing a crowd. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Smoky Mountain Memories. How could you write about these mountains all these years? You loved Earl Thomas Conley. I did. I saw him. But you don't know how to sing his song. I know. You can't sing his song. So this is a challenge to you. You can listen to Mel Street sing it, but I'd rather you do it like Earl Thomas did. Get off my so. hump and learn Smoky Mountain Memories. If he didn't have so many other projects I've given him you know, with a to-do list, I'm sorry. If I wasn't busy... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Spackling holes in drywall <laughs> yep, and mowing yep, grass yep, and weed yep, eating and yep, all that. Yep. Uh, Sorry. Could... Sorry. Okay, we had um, some fellas gather and we talked and we had a little music and we had a little food and we had a little fun and you and some of the guys were telling some stories about things that happened in Ella J. Now, sometimes you ask me something and I'll go, you have to remember I ain't from around here, but you are. And people know the folks you're going to be telling this story about. Are you safe with telling it? Nobody's going to hurt you if you tell a little silly story? Can't promise you that. <laughs> but you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? But we will tell it anyway. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. It was way back in 1973. This is real, okay? This is not hearsay, folks. Way back. Yeah, in 73. I was there. It, w it was New Year's Day, 1973, and it had flooded like we haven't seen, I don't guess, since then. You know where my pawn shop, <clears throat> excuse me, my pawn shop used to be across from Ace? Water was exactly halfway across that street. Wow. If Ace had been there then, it would have been a bad story. Mm -hmm. But my mother had purchased for me a, a 1966 Fairlane GT, dark blue. Whoa. Boy, things had done gotten better. We had plumbing in the house, and uh, I was driving that. I had to get out on New Year's Day, and I was just going to drive around and see what I could figure out about what was going on. It's been a heck of a rain. And uh, actually, the uh, they used to call it the civil defense. Had to rescue my mom out of our house out there. Oh, wow. They had to come in with the boat and get her out. Well, me and my fire lane got out of there in time, and I was driving around. And I remember going right down there. Well, it was Frank Sarks's at the time. You know, he had a junkyard there, down in a hole where now is Ace. And I was going through there, and, and the water was halfway across the road. I was headed. If you'd been heading north, you'd have been in water. I was headed south, and I just looked down at the water anyway. 
I got on down the road, the river was just raging, okay? It was plumb, way swollen. There was, it was just tumbling, and it was unbelievable. But I saw this with my very own eyes. We were, I got on down next to about right before you get down to the Dairy Queen. And there went John Arnold and Johnny Southern on inner tubes. <laughs> In December, January. It was January the 1st, 1973. Okay. And that river like it was, they were floating down through there on inner tubes. I saw them. And I'll never forget what old John, you know how John talked. <clears throat> and Johnny as well. But uh, John got down there. They got to the bridge there to Dairy Queen. It was before they built that new bridge. And it was lower to start with. It probably hit the one today too. But they got hung up under the bridge. <clears throat> and they had to come and get them out. John said, you know how John talked? He goes, hung my nose over the bridge. Thought I was going to tear it off. <laughs> I laughed until I like to <laughs> fell over. <laughs> what a time. What a time. It used to be different around here. People did stuff like that. Those people did. And they saved them. Yeah. They got them out. Yeah, they got them out. Did they question him and say, idiots, what are you doing mm. out here? And what was the temperature that day? It was it wasn't cold. Oh, it wasn't? Mm. Okay. It wasn't much cold. And they did that. It was just so funny. John was telling about it. I'd see him after that, and he'd say, like, tore my nose <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> he said some other stuff, too. Now, the bridge, <laughs> the bridge and Pilgrim Pride and everything has changed, but there have still been some flooding in this area. Yeah, but not on that scale. Now, who's, who's one? He's, he's going to fix. Okay, okay. We're playing, we're playing with mics. That's what you do. We're yeah, going to play with mics. I'd, I'd roll it around. So uh oh, he's, he's fired now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, today is the Mr. LJ show. So today. We we're, thank Aaron for all he does for that's us. That's right. And we. The little guy, what's his name? Trey. 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 Trey Parks. Parks. Yeah, yeah he's he's too, kin to the parks. Now, do you want to say something about them parks, people, what sweet sweet folks they are? Because they like they your the music. Finest, folks. They requested all seven of my CDs, and it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> That's so cool. And once they hear them, then they'll want to give them as gifts because it's a really good warm gift. And fuzzy. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, today is going to be fun, and we are going to be sharing some craziness with y'all. I just shot out some stuff that we had recorded previously, some stuff we've done today, and we're going to share a little of that music. So we're going to go to a little bit of that right now. I have no idea if it's an eight-second clip or if it's a two-minute clip, so here we go. Okay, do something, Charlie Pride. If you don't mind, I've got this rolling right now, and we're not going to use it as a blooper. We're going to just let you choose something you really, really want to do. I always make decisions. I'm sick of making decisions, so you be the decision maker. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, do it. Rolling? Rolling. Okay, we're going to show all this. Yes. Howdy, folks. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, I'll say happy birthday, darling. And surprise. <laughs> They're cracking me up a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Blooper number one on this one. Try right. it again. Okay, there you go. It was all funny. All right. Okay. Tomorrow. Oh, to <laughs> sorry. Okay. Tomorrow, I'll say happy birthday, darling. And surprise.
being critiqued now y'all got to hear this you know while we're off the air we're kind of chit-chatting whatever and and we realized I was a city slicker you didn't know me back then and I used to say good morning Constantia and Proud will have my direct your call mm -hmm. and I sounded like I had good sense but you <laughs> talked to me enough to know that I probably don't have good sense but when I got to the country you got to think about this I proceeded to marry a really good country guy whose family was real country, and so I'm now country. But you just said that I say a word just like you I say said it. I said I did, but we, we both we, say yeah. it. Yeah, we <laughs> say I can't. Yeah. But then we say Canton. It's Canton, Georgia. But Why do I, I can't. say can't <laughs> if I can't? And I say Canton if I say Canton. And have you listened to you when you're doing music, how you say city? No, how's that work out? It's perfect. It's it is perfect, but it's like you're from the city. You don't say you don't sound country when you do songs. I sound country all the time now because I've been here so long. I reckon it just took. Yeah. <laughs> you reckon it just have, took? I must have picked that up post punk and center. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. But I watch you when you're singing. Now you like Charlie Pride. You like Merle Haggard but you can do anybody's music and you sound like that person. You can also do imitations of people. Yeah, I can do them pretty good. Pretty dang good. Hello. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I'm going, oh yeah. my gosh, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> so life has got to be fun. It's got to be fun. Yeah. But you have been a workaholic. You are an overachiever. You are a but you think through everything you do. You don't Study. jump into anything. He studies. Yeah, oh, Lord study have about mercy. It. He studies. If I say we're going to do so and so, and, and, and I know who this is trying to call me, and I just can't take a call right now, but anyway, if I say we're going to do so and so at 12 o'clock, well, if it's 11.15, that doesn't give him studying <laughs> time. So I'm like, I blew it. I should have told him 1 o'clock. I was just sitting here kind of studying. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay. Actually, it's not that bad, folks. I'm not that bad. It's pretty bad. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's, pretty yeah. bad. it's pretty bad. But, <clears throat> but you do, you think and you analyze and you do and you seem to make the right decisions. Now, I did a video yesterday that's already gotten about 250 hits and it included candy. And I don't think you caught the last line that I put in the video because I said, if you bring me an offer that I can't refuse, Candy would be thrown in. Yeah. And then I thought, he's going to kill me. Or there could be a dog fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. there could be a dog fight. <laughs> uh, Is there a price for candy? Candy's not for sale. I knew that. But I mean, I you know, I mean, if somebody got crazy, crazy, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd regret yeah. it, though. I'd have seller's remorse. Yes, yes. So 57 Heaven is a true, you love it. You love it. You spend time with the old guys, and you love it. Love being at that place. Yep, That's a yep. fine place to be. Right outside of L.A.J., it's a good place to be. And that is kind of your calming factor? I mean, even though... Yeah, it really is. Yeah. When I'm in 57 heaven working, and especially if I accomplish a little something, which I usually do, sometimes it all goes wrong, but I usually accomplish something. Mm -hmm. You feel, I feel like I'm going to live forever. You know, it's just and a good feeling. It is a good yeah. feeling. Being surrounded by gentlemen that you're learning from still at 88, they're teaching you some lessons. At 86, they're teaching you some lessons. Um, 
you never stop learning. And no, you never gosh, stop no. listening to other people's advice. Yeah, I know. Boy, old Vic, he's, he's as handy as a pocket on a shirt when it comes to fixing stuff. Or dreaming up ideas to ship oh, engines. Oh, yeah, I know. Dreaming up I, ideas to ship engines. I know. I yeah. saw that up close Not personal. to be specific, <laughs> Yeah. but we did go retrieve one engine, we'll say. Yeah. And uh, I thought, well, how we, because it was far, far away, and I thought, how are we going to haul this thing? How are we going to get this thing back? And uh, Vic said, here's what you do, boy. Yeah, yeah, and you do it. <laughs> you do <coughs> it. it. You do it. You do it. Okay, we've got to share some more music because we've loaded several things. There are pieces, there are partials, there are blippets, but they're showing him doing what he loves. So if I said in retirement, you can choose to do 57 Heaven or you can pick a guitar and produce music. Would you give up either of those things? It'll be both. It'll be both. I knew it would. <laughs> I knew it would. Yeah, it'll be both. You might give up cutting grass and you might hire somebody to do that. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, that's possible. That's possible. But he's not yeah. giving up music. So we're <coughs> going to share a little bit more. Don't know what it is because, again, I threw a bunch of stuff at the guys and I just said, y'all, it's going to be um, it's going to be Heinz 57 today. Yeah. That makes sense, doesn't it? Heinz is it, is it bloopers? Is yeah. that what it is, bloopers? You just choose whatever y'all want to play. So here we go back to some more. Surprise us, guys. So, we thank y'all so much. Well, Donovan and, and Trey and... Uh, and Donovan will be back hopefully yeah. in a month or so. And yeah. Aaron, you guys are the greatest. Thank you so much for putting up with us. Yep, and for doing what we do. Here we go. <laughs> but it's a good song. <laughs>
Variety. Variety is the spice well, of life. Welcome to Blooper Wednesday. That's folks. right. Wicked we Wild it's, Wednesday. It's just us. It's okay. That's what you do best. You're just you in your element with people, with friends, with craziness and pick up a guitar and amaze people. Now, we went over to the Turner Farm, and I, I hope y'all can pick up the one uh, next that we can do at the Turner Farm. You <clears> picked <throat> up a guitar that hadn't been picked up in a long, long time, and you just started da 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 da, -da. And I liked it. I liked it over there because they didn't know me. And they liked me. <laughs> they liked you. Used to when, when I was driving <laughs> the school bus. They went gathered people to listen yeah. to you. When I was driving yeah. the school bus, used to, and my bus would tear up, and I had to drive a spare. I loved it, cause all the other drivers would wave at me. <laughs> They'd You're wave crazy. and be real friendly. <laughs> they didn't know it was me. You're crazy. That's how you get them. All right, 41 years as a school bus driver. Uh huh. During that time, you've admitted that you wrote some songs on the bus, and you oh, would lots a, of them, a yeah. thought would come to you, and you would just da 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 mm -hmm. da da. So you're driving down the road and you're you got all these kids behind you and they're screaming and they're carrying on and you're thinking in your head I'm writing a song. Mm -hmm. So you are multi-talented. <laughs> you are definitely multi-talented. <laughs> Could be maybe. Yeah. Uh, a yeah. lot of times they wrote. You know I would I would hand Glenda. A, I'd say here here get a piece of paper hurry. And, <laughs> there uh, you go. Yeah, yeah. Or some of them and say write this down. Before the song leaves you. Yeah, Before absolutely. the song leaves you. And they would, and then they'd hand it to me, and I'd cram it in my shirt pocket. Keep going. You probably hear some of those lines in songs today, I'm sure. And, you know, we've been, you, you give me a hard time about the bloopers, but we are truly collecting bloopers because one day the music will be gone. Mm -hmm. One day the moment will be gone. Yes. We have seen that with some of our older dear friends mm -hmm. that can't remember the words to a song, can't remember what lick they hit, can't remember. So yes. we are capturing your life truly. And you'll be glad to look back and say, there he was, folks, playing that guitar. Yeah, yeah. And we've captured some crazy stuff. And like when we did the piano thing, you had said, I knew you'd do that. And you knew I wouldn't. You loved it. You yeah. loved that because that is you. That is what you do. That's what we do. You're not afraid of any instrument. You will attack any of them. I remember the first night. I shouldn't your... have attacked that song because I sure <laughs> didn't know it. And I had no idea you was filming it. <laughs> at your house one night, you started on the piano and you said, I can't play the piano. And I, I have, said, what? You said you couldn't play it. I said, can't. Can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't play the piano. But I did say can't, right? <laughs> you okay. did say can't. Okay. But I filmed that and I found that last night and I thought the man lied because he said he can't, he can't. He can't. We're going to do better, aren't we? We're going to do better. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to do no better. That'll be the day. That'll be the day. Yeah. But, but you can attack and try everything, and you usually accomplish what you set out to do. Now, I like watching you in this home remodel we're doing because you have this theory, and you do these things, and there was wax all over a wall, and I walk in there, and it's magically disappeared. Ain't on there now, is it? It ain't on there now. And I said, You know said, why, don't you? How did you do that? I studied about it. You studied about it. I knew you did. Absolutely. I knew you did. You, you got to study about it. Yeah, yeah, because I walked in and I was stressing over how am I going to paint over this stupid wax all over the wall? The wax is gone. Studied about it. Studied about it. All the wax is laying in the floor now and don't even look like it was ever there. No. No, I don't know what you did. I wasn't in the room when you were doing it. I was out here doing something else, but you did a good job, so mm -hmm. thank you very much. It is fun to see things accomplished. It is fun to see things finished, but we know every week you tell me another friend of yours has passed away. Oh, man, I know. Every time we turn around, somebody we know and love is gone. I know. We are capturing the moments that will matter to somebody because we have captured a lot of your music, a lot of your craziness, a lot of your antics, but it's going to matter to somebody. And I think that's what life is all about. We're capturing the moments. It's like this. This is priceless to me. What a precious gift. I know. That she loved me enough to do this, you know. And I said, there are so many moments in our life that we really don't understand. Now, can you hand me that little box? Because I brought you a gift. This is, you know, my maiden name is Dobbs. Mm -hmm. And once upon a time, there was a hat company, the Dobbs Hat Company. 
and they produced, here it is on here, Dobbs, this was a salesman's sample that he would go around to Winfield Homes, WH Dry Goods in Jasper, he would go to Bowen's department store, they would go to all the old department stores around all these small towns, and they would sell their hats. But instead of the salesman in his 57 Ford with no AC and no radio. And no back seat. And no it back seat. It was called seat. a business coupe. That's right. They yes. would pull up with these little sample hats. And so I brought you a gift today. You can't wear it because it won't fit your, he's big headed. Oh boy. <laughs> but look at this. This well. is a sample hat that he would show the merchant at the store. And then he would sell them the real hats and they would deliver the hats. And this is in mint condition. Huh. And I have had it for many, many years. So it's yours as a gift because you're the hat man. So there yeah. you go. Well, I've often said it and I'll say it again today. If you had a head like mine, you'd wear a hat too. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, that's It's good yours. we can laugh about it. It's all we funny. We have to. It's we just have fun. to. It's got to be fun. You know. We've got to lighten up, and life has got to be, you know, we are getting to that stage of our life that it may end tomorrow. And, I know. And every time you call and say, oh, Lord, you won't believe who passed away, um, when Jennifer passed away, we were both in shock. I, know. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful young lady and um, love her mom, Cindy, and, and I know they are struggling. They are struggling. But with laughter and with the great memories, you will get through that struggle. Yeah. If you're long about my age, walk through cemeteries, folks. Mm -hmm. Look at them. Check out the percentage of people who were born after you and have already died. Yeah. Then yeah. you feel lucky. Yeah, absolutely blessed. Absolutely yes. blessed. Well, we're going to share some more music because, again, the guys have control of this. So we're going to throw it back to them now. Surprise us, guys. Surprise! We have no idea what any of us are going to see. It's Blooper Wednesday. Mm -mm. Can you do the music? Okay, do that eight-second one. That'll be good. Yes. Okay, this is a tiny, tiny one. Here we go. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that, you really did something good on that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't, I bet I can, oh, that gets. <laughs> And your laughter and your talent, and we just, and before we knew it, they had the room full of people listening to music. And you said, I bet they won't like this because it's country. And, and they, they loved, it. loved it. They loved it. They loved it. They loved it. They loved it. So that's what life is about. It's gathering together, finding a little laughter, a little food, a little fellowship, and enjoying the moment. Yes. And enjoying the moment through music. Now, if I said today... That was a beautiful day over there. It was a good time. It was. And they, they had been cooking, and there was food on the table. Oh, yes. You want to eat some dinner? And I yeah. thought, boy, I sure do. <laughs> but I was too weird to go ahead and do it. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I but thought, no, I, I can't... As was... mama used to say, I can't skin my ignorance over here. There was fresh corn. There was fresh corn. There was fresh <laughs> yeah. potatoes. And there was beans. I yeah, I know. I was... <laughs> We want to eat. Yeah. But we didn't because we had things to go. We had to study on some yeah. stuff we were working on that day. We were hauling so. chairs. And tables and everything yeah. else. And yeah. And that, remember that night? It was the rainstorm night. Do we need to do a shout out to Jasper Tire and tell them how much Holy we Michael. appreciate yeah. their owning? Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. That was like life saving uh -huh. because we were in trouble. We had this cool furniture. And, on the truck, and, and it come a monsoon. It did. And we popped under that awning down there at Jasper Tire. So thank you very much. And if y'all don't care, do you build a little bit bigger awning in case we ever get caught yeah. again? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, there's been a lot of magic, a lot of music, a lot of fun. And today I want to end, guys, if you will go to... Um, the Mr. LJ, the CD with Welcome to LJ. I think we should end with that today because when we think about you, you did get the title Mr. LJ because you did write this amazing song, but you've written a lot of other songs. And Welcome to LJ is not my favorite. You know what my favorite is? What would my favorite be? The ones I wrote? That would be that one about I've been wrong before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
And, and that's it. People find a song that they settle in on. But then this morning, I listened to um, Southern City Lights three times on the way up here because I love the beat to that. I love the music. I see that song at car shows. Yeah, I know. You know it's, it's I good. see that song at outdoor uh, events when people are just walking around having a good time. I the, like that little song. <clears throat> the music, the melodies, the, the amazing feel-good music. It tells about my Friday and Saturday nights used to. You get your bath or your okay. shower or whatever, put those favorite jeans on and head okay. to town. Instead of doing Welcome to LJ, we're going to do a gospel because okay. we haven't done any gospel That's today. Fine. That's so fine. guys, will y'all go through and just choose, um, we did wedding bells the other day, so maybe just choose one of the, um, toward the end, what's your favorite on there? On Hank? Mm -hmm. No, on the gospel. On the gospel? The first one or the second one? No, no, I don't know. There's one that you and Astrid are really, really good on. Toward Echoes the from the burning bush. Echoes from the burning bush. Can y'all, is it on that one? Can you see if that one's on there? It's on, it's on the one with the truck on it. Echo, it's not on that one. Okay, they don't have it here? Okay. Okay. We'll All just right. do whatever. Y'all just, y'all just pick one. Y'all just pick one and we'll end today with one of your gospels. Now, I'll fly away. The one you did at daddy's, daddy's funeral. So, yes. There you go. Did it at my mama's funeral. Did it at your daddy's funeral. Um, it, it is, it's an honor to be able to share your music, your madness, your craziness, your sense of humor, and your honey. We got honey, y'all. If anybody's looking for honey, <laughs> we got honey. How many jars of honey we got? We got more than we need because <laughs> of somebody. <laughs> Who said I sure do like honey? <laughs> So we got lots of honey, lots and lots and lots of honey, but get out and enjoy God's bounty. Get out and gather some pears. Beautiful honey. Get out and pick some blackberries. Get out and enjoy these mountains. Can you pick a place today to send folks on a vacation that we haven't talked about before? Lord, there's plenty. Ride down Old Five. Old Five. Turn a crap round top and come down that little road. Oh no, what's, what's the name of that road? I can't remember, but there's old houses through there. Go Old Highway 5 before and go the Go right Revelation. out there to that chicken farm and turn left and you come back down into Old 05 and there's gorgeous stuff to look at through there. And that's what... Bodie, the, Bodie Road. Bodie Road? Yeah, come I down Bodie Road, yeah. I knew he'd think of it. Get out today and pack yourself a lunch. You know, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, something that won't spoil. Get you some chips, get you some water, get you a drink. Go find a creek and sit down beside a creek. Ford a creek. Yes. We forded a creek. I like fording creeks. Do you remember the trip to the cemetery? I do. How many Chevelles have you seen on monuments? Not just one. Yeah. One. Yeah. Did you think, holy cow? This girl's serious. Yeah. <laughs> this girl's serious yeah. about Chevelles. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It, you know. I love Chevelles. You do? I, I do like too. a 66 Chevelle. I like a 396 with the 375. I too like 396, 375. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. both used to have a silver one, which I thought was really weird. And, and I had one. I had one. The rock and roll would play. When AM rock was all we knew back then. Yeah. But boy, we had it playing, didn't we? We had it playing. Jet Fly, WFLI. You know something we didn't do today, and we got to do a quick prayer request. My buddy Selena wasn't strong enough for chemo. We are hoping that she is gaining strength and can get back on her chemo and get back fighting this gosh awful cancer. The mm. liver enzymes were up. We don't like that. So y'all have the power to pray for her. And um, we hope that the doctors will get their act together with a new chemical something that will work for her. Because that's what it's about. You know, she, y'all have heard her sing on this program for many, many years with me, Angel Spirit. She was the lead singer, amazing, amazing talent. And she is still fighting to live. So please say a prayer for her, say a prayer for Danny Hensley, say a prayer for everybody who is out there battling and beating this stupid, awful cancer. My sister is gonna fight it. She's gonna, I've made up my mind, my sister's not gonna leave me. She did lose a kidney and they took a large tumor, but we are going to see cancer. You know, you would think in my lifetime, and your lifetime, we would have seen it defeated medically. I know. But it hasn't happened hasn't happened, but hopefully we'll get these, these folks through it. Now, can we go to a song by you? And can you tell folks a little bit about um, 
you know, when, when you leave here today, you're not going to be sitting around doing nothing, are you? Your day will be busy. It will be incredibly um, rewarding. Productive. Productive, rewarding, because you're yes. going to be helping somebody else. And I love you said something in front of me today that just made me more convinced of what a great guy you are. You said, no, I don't want money for that. Please send the money to St. Jude. You are a giver. Well, you know, we do what we can. Yeah, yeah. But we the shouldn't Shriners, brag about it, but no, we no. do what we can. But the Shriners, St. Jude, there are so many great organizations yes. that you can give to. Yeah, I, I give to the Shriners too. And you also give of your time for the um, event that we do for special friends that you've been doing oh, yeah. for years. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's your heart. I'm the beneficiary of that. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's your heart. Yeah. And I said that's what life is about is about giving something that comes back and blesses your own heart. So yep. thank you for what you do, and thank you thank for you. pulling me out of a trap today. Because when that lady called, I was like, "Dude, Call what?" in a trap. <laughs> Elvis. I can't walk. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we're going to leave you now with a little bit of music from Mr. Ella J. We'll see you again soon, only on ETC. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. Prison bars has flown high.